What's going on? I'm going to back to another video, and today we're going to be talking about my wants and don't want for World now, War II. I have II. really high expectations for World War II. I feel like it's going to be on in the golden ages of Call of Duty. I feel like this is going to be the Call of Duty to bring it back alive, just of what we've seen so far. But, you know, I may be wrong. We'll see in the future. I think it's going to be an absolutely great game, and I feel like I haven't really determined whether I wanted to be a sub or an AR, a Slayer, or an OBJ. I, I just haven't determined that yet. I have thought towards the sub side and doing more of a slaying this year. I've always been OBJ, but I just feel like I want to do a little bit more slaying this year. And I and I, if it's anything like Black Ops 2, I'm, I'm going to be able to do that. So something that I really, really, really want is some type of a competitive mode. When it came to IW, they happened to add GBs near the end, like GBs that were integrated into the game. And I feel like that's one of the best inventions they could have added just because instead of it going on the website you could literally click on the tab and click find match and it just made it 10 times easier and even if they add that that game battles thing i'm i'm probably not going to use it i'm so fed up with game battles just because of like the recent bs we've gotten like we clearly should have won many games but like just because uh, the other teams had to forfeit it but i've put in amazing proof for two of my forfeits two or three and we still lost the matches which really i'm still fed up about that so we're probably gonna avoid any any sort of like gbs or mlg and all that fun stuff even like a league play or an arena hopefully without a ban and protect system the ban and protect just takes too long i'd be completely happy with sort of a league play i really do like league play in black ops 2 as long as capture the flag doesn't pop up every single game now something else i want is sort of like a black ops 2 feel and if you don't know what i mean by a black ops 2 feel more like i i really love the hit the hit detection on that game i think it's amazing in that game and also sniping i feel like i want exactly sni how sniping is on black ops 2 in world at war oh and by the way this gameplay was uh given to me by izepsy so i'll leave a link uh to his channel down in the description like i always do but just check out his channel you know he does uh fortnite and a whole bunch of other games so just check him out now with what i've seen so far of world war uh 2 just watching this gameplay this seems like in this gameplay there should have been many more shots that should have been hit not because of shame but the bullet wreck and i'm just like yeah i don't know hopefully it's not like mwr because mwr was absolutely terrible for it another thing that i really 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 want is some gun like the scorpion from black ops 2 that shoots fast has okay recoil and it's just really really fast because i love the scorpion and i was like really good with controlling the recoil for the scorpion i was able to shoot it at long range like i was able to actually use the scorpion as like an ar that's why i like the scorpion so much now this one's gonna be a little bit controversial but i want the ability to drop shot like and you guys are just like well you could drop shot in every game but in some games when you crouch down your guy kind of goes through an animation to like let like he moves his arms out so you're not aiming and i don't want that animation i want to be able to just like aim and stay aiming while i'm dropping down and i'm gonna hate myself for asking for that if it's if we're able to do a nice little drop shot because i'm gonna get drop shot all the time and i honestly have been trying to practice drop shotting i'm just not used to it I, when i played black ops 2 mainly I, I was so used to drop shotting then black ops 3 came along and i started drop or jump shotting a lot more like i got into jump shotting so fast when black ops 3 came out so you know i have to get right back into drop shotting again since we're actually gonna be on the ground this year something else i want is god spots now if you don't know what god spots are they're basically like little spots in the map where you can maybe see where the bomb is or see uh across the map or see where a common hiding place is it's something that's a really really nice spot that isn't doesn't necessarily have to be like a glitch spot or a douchey spot it's just a spot that's like like holy shit like a lot of the smartest people ever must have came up with this now god spots are mostly like a thing on mwr or cod4 or whatever one you want to reference like usually the boots on ground cods because they're like on the ground you play them a lot more tactical but they're, they're, they could still, I mean, be there, and I really hope they are. Speaking of spots, I also want a lot of nade spots because Kate, I don't know how many times Caden has thrown a nade across the map and we've won the round because he killed one or both of the guys. Like, his nade spots are amazing. I, I, I think Caden knowing the nade spots helps us out a lot. I just know, like, where to throw him generally. He, like, actually, like, 
kind of just like aims it out. He's like, eh, throw it like right there. Another thing I want is a lot of objects that I'm able to shoot through. Like a lot of things I can penetrate because I feel like Black Ops 3, I would be better if I was able to penetrate like a piece of paper. But you know, you can't do that in Black Ops 3. You can't do that shit, bro. Now, I don't want to be able to shoot through like a block of concrete like I've seen before. Like maybe a roadblock or whatever. I'm okay with that being able to shoot through that. Like the little uh, sound barrier things. I'm okay with being able to shoot through that. But like giant like buildings. I don't want to be able to be shot through like the corner like the bullet slightly goes through the corner like that's a piece of concrete it should not be able to shoot through that now this is something that's not going to happen but i wish it would is i wish every weekend was like a new double xp like black ops 3 now even and i know black ops 3 is out of its lifespan and that's why they're doing that but for instance one week i want to have like regular double xp next week double weapon xp and then third week maybe zombies xp fourth week liquid divinium or whatever they're calling that so System if they even have one now this one when i say what i want you guys are gonna be like what the heck dude you're so gay this is why there's a problem in the call of dirty community but the thing is guys i want attachment variants now calm down not like attack like things that can make your attachments better like i just want cosmetic attachment variants like we had in black ops 3 and i want to be able to obtain them easier too like i want to get my variants for every attachment on like the svg or something like then i can make the svg look completely different which would look nice i also want uniform variants so like that just means maybe uh it just changes like the the uh the different color of your uniform maybe it changes like the style maybe you're wearing like a corporate uh like uniform i don't know anything about the military so you know don't be calling me out on this shit and about supply drops i want everything in supply drops to be obtainable through like a salvage system like uh uh infinite warfare had or uh, and gears like the mwr had like i just want to be able to like for instance if you open 10 rare supply drops and you get and you get like nothing from it but you get a thousand gears and you basically could buy the thing that you were trying to work for bam successful supply drop opening and i'm kind of jumping like all over between like supply drops gameplay weapons perks all this fun stuff but just stay with me my mind i was making a list and my mind was like coming up with stuff left right and center it's like okay yeah put this down put this down i didn't take time to like organize it now something i want and i've heard from people that play the beta is that I want it to be as fast as Black Ops 3 but on the ground. Kind of like Black Ops 2 because Black Ops 2 was kind of fast but it was on the ground and I've heard people say it's really really fast paced like Black Ops 3 but again it's on the ground which I like because I'm I'm good when it's fast paced. I'm not so good when I'm at a distance of shooting people like if I'm if it's fast paced I'm a I'm a 1v1 someone that's like right next to me which I can usually win those with the sub. As well as I want like a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of balanced maps. Now what I mean by balanced is for instance, you go the right lane and your enemies go the right lane too. You guys meet, I want a machine gun on both sides. So that means not just one side, which makes it unbalanced, but both sides. So you guys have like equally a chance. Now that's not like the best example, more like uh, you guys have to have like equal head glitches, equal distance to run or equidistant. That's some mass math terms right there, bro. But I just want them to a lot of balanced maps because we've had instances like in Infinite Warfare there just wasn't a lot of balanced maps like there was not a lot at all as long and and Ghost too I mean just not have balanced maps Infinity War just I guess wasn't good at that. <laughs> okay, so a few different groups of people are gonna be mad on these next three wants. So I'm just gonna lay this one down first. I want two really good ARs and one or two good subs. If you think about it, in Black Ops 3, we had the Man of War and the M8. Black Ops 2, we had the AN and the M8. We usually have two really, really good ARs. Infinite Warfare, we had the K-Bar and the, what even, I don't even remember what it's called, dude. I haven't played Infinite Warfare in forever, bruh. The bow and the ASM1. Yeah, is that how you say it? I can't remember. I didn't play much Advanced Warfare. We've always had like two good ARs and I, I, I really like that. And I think they should keep following that. Now with subs, think about it. In Black Ops 3, we had the VMP and honestly the Cuda was good. The Vesper was good at one point until they 
nerfed it out of its fucking mind. Infinite Warfare, we had the ERAD, and honestly, the FHR, that gun that nobody used, that gun's really good. When you put the right attachments on it, it's amazing. Black Ops 2, the Scorpion and the MSMC, like two of the most overpowered submachine guns of all time. I mean, behind the MP7 from Modern Warfare 3, but that gun is a god. I just want two good subs, and I hope it's the Grease gun, because like, I'm so curious to feel how the grease gun is it, it as well i want the ppsh to be good now i'm gonna lay down the second one i want two good snipers like i just want like a dsr and a ballista even though the, the ballista literally is a hit marker machine i want svg and a locust i want a longbow and a widowmaker no it's not a widowmaker what the fuck am i saying bro i want fucking anna on widowmaker let's do that one now this one may offend the group that i'm I, i'm you know pushing this towards to and uh i want zero good shotguns like i don't want to turn the corner on like a 29 kill streak and just get incinerary shelled or whatever i don't want that to happen i want zero good shotguns in modern very mastered nobody used shotguns in that game maybe you could find that one douchebag that's literally sitting on his fucking waterbed of sweat that was using it now that we're done with weapons i want the bouncing betty sound effect to be loud now in black ops 2 it had a really really distinctive and loud sound which made it easy to like crouch down in time and i want that sound effect to be as loud in world war 2 and this one it's it's a unrealistic request like literally unrealistic and i know this is world war ii but come on you guys have bent the rules so much for so many games just just add a few trophy systems like in modern Warfare remastered i just wasn't good at hard point in that game because you literally three nades from each side of the hill three nades three flashes three nades three babies three i don't even care burritos bruh just add trophy systems like nades and flashes were like the worst problem for respawn game modes on mwr i just want trophy systems so we could stop that and you know play the game a little bit more tactical more 1v1 style more like face me 1v1 snipers only and this kind of goes back to the god spots but i also want a lot of spots that you can get into in mwr and cod 4 these were literally this game is known for having spots that you you sh should be able to get to but you shouldn't i mean it's a glitch but it's not a glitch but it's i don't know honestly i also want a map that's literally shipment size just so you can go for those 100 kill games like you know people that shipment surf i want to be able to do surfing but like with whatever they name that map and i also want one super large map but it's like close quarters literally if it's just a whole bunch of trenches maybe like it's a an hq that you're going through i don't care i just want a large ass map now we're going on to the don'ts and i promise there's not even close to enough to don'ts that i want because i just couldn't think of any i don't want an easy spawn trap i don't want like first day on people already know the spawns and that goes for my second reason i don't want predictable spawns as well i just don't want to literally get on in the first five minutes i have people fucking spawn trapping me bro. i don't want an op shotgun i already talked about shotguns they're fucking annoying i don't want dlc weapons added i don't think anybody does and if they do sadly make it so we can buy them a salvage just please and i'm a big hater of shotguns because i don't want to see any any type of shotgun buff i just want them if they're bad don't give them a buff just let them just keep nerfing them all the way down to the ground so they have zero damage zero range literally have to stick it halfway up their anus to maybe get like a feather of damage to them i don't fucking care i also don't want any rocket launcher to one shot i don't want to turn a corner again on a 29 kill streak and kablamo you're halfway into the atmosphere and one last thing i don't want a lot of tryhards not infinite warfare literally you have to be on your game 127.3 percent of the time to do to do even positive and black ops 2 now for the last thing i don't want any tryhards now in infinite warfare you literally have to be on your game to maybe even go positive in black ops 3 i don't have to try that hard to go positive like 
an infinite whiff Whoa, wow, I cannot. Now, I don't want to see a lot of tryhards. Like, in Infinite Warfare, there's so many tryhards. You have to try your anus off if you want to even go positive in that game. But in Black Ops 3, I barely even have to try. Now, I hate saying, oh my gosh, you guys are tryhards. And every time we are playing in a match, and I'm like, these guys are tryhards, I'll be like, well, I mean, that's a little bit hypocritical. Hypocritical. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm a hypocrite. Hip hop, hip hop. You know what I mean? I'm like, holy crap, this is hypocrisy. And honestly, I, I shouldn't be saying this because I'm trying to. I'm trying my hardest. It's just not as hard as they are. So I'm just hoping that people don't ruin the game. That's the theme of this video. Please, people, do not ruin this Call of Duty game. This is the Call of Duty that's going to bring us back. So do not ruin it for us, people. And you know who you fookers are running shotguns and C4s and shock charges and trip mines and brechies and flat jacket and tack masks and fast hands. You know who you are. So that's all I got. I think World War II is going to be an absolutely phenomenal game. And I cannot wait as we are like three or four days away. I don't know when I'm uploading this. But it's probably going to be three or four days before release. So if you enjoyed this video, press the like button. Subscribe if you're new. And that's all I got. See ya. Come searching for targets. Light them up. They're on the move. Oh, the He's moving. Shit, they took him out. up and you will find yourself on the eastern front. Casualties.
Fire in the hole. Enemy recon aircraft in the air. Enemy bomb incoming. Get to cover. Enemy care package observed. Deny the enemy resupply. Enemy bomb incoming. Get to cover. Enemy bomb incoming. Get to cover. Incoming enemy artillery. Get to cover. Enemy bomb incoming. Get to cover. in the air. Keep this up and you will find yourself on the eastern front. That's all, folks.